back there is Fur Road. It is a super nice January afternoon. It's about 50 degrees out, and I'm coming down to the Tri Cities to meet some friends. And I could not resist coming down here, checking this out. I actually uh, I brought my raft in hopes to uh, paddle out to that island, um, do some rock hounding out there where I know it's not going to be picked over at all, but it's also pretty windy today. And uh, well, my oar, <laughs> don't laugh, my oar is to, uh, my oar is a shovel. <laughs> yeah, the oar is a shovel. It's a snow shovel. But it's a little too windy and I fear that I would get blown, blown down. Um, there is another vehicle here. So maybe, um, maybe there's another rock hound down here. Maybe it's just somebody fishing. We'll see. Um, you know, I probably could have taken the Outback down this. It would have been a little close in places. But let's see if we can find any sugar agates. Maybe, maybe some glowers. Check out all them rocks. Last time I was here, it was summer. And 95 degrees. And when you're standing next to this rock wall in that heat, it is not fun. So let's, uh, let's see if we can't find some rocks down here. I don't know. It could be just quartz or it could be a sugar agate. I think uh, I'm going to take this home and, well, let's carry it around. And if it's good, and it's the only thing that we come up with here, we'll uh, keep it. This is kind of the first big wide turnaround on Fur Road. I've had some good luck working in this area, so I think we're going to poke around in there, then walk down the road further and uh, head up the cliffs and see what, uh, see what we can find. So I walked up right here and got this guy. Before uh, we take it down into the sun, let me show you with my little flashlight. Boom. You see that? Check that out. How nice is that? First find took a couple of minutes. Let's go down to the sun. Look at that. That is pretty. So the best advice I can give you when looking at stuff like this, <laughs> right up there that's about five, six feet higher than my head, is look at every single rock. You gotta systematically go through like a typewriter, line by line, look at them all. It's the only way you're gonna find these. The only way. Sure is pretty out here. For those uh, new to my channel, maybe you haven't seen the other ones, there's some videos up there of being out here at this location. Um, right out, out there is the Hanford site. Um, you can use Google Hanford if you want to read up about a major nuclear waste cleanup operation, which is kind of neat. So many rocks, so many rocks to look at. Check this out. Huh. Man, should I take that home? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Seems slightly agony. Like a, was it brocciated? Brocciated, brocciated. Tomato, tomato. 
Dang, I think I'll, I think I'll put this in the bag. I got a long way to go to get all the way to where I want to go. But I'll tuck you into my, uh, <laughs> into my uh, backpack here. Met some nice folks down there rock and their kids. I just don't know about this. Aspects of it scream boring quartzite. Others say take it, take it home, put it in the bag. Well, I think I'm gonna go against my best judgment for now and put it in the bag. Little tiny thing. That's just a piece of quartz. In the bag it goes. As a way of reference, there's the transmission lines and well, now you can see the facility a little bit better. By way of reference, there's the island. This is that first kind of point where you could turn around. And I've worked my way all the way up in here. Um, this is kind of where I want to work. Obviously, the stuff down there comes from somewhere. Well, it comes from up here. Maybe I'll find something. Maybe I'll find nothing. Somebody's been up here. There's footprints in the sand. And, uh... These are well-placed rocks. Those didn't put themselves there. You probably don't see it, but... A little agate right there. Look at that guy. Keeper. See that band in the top of it? I think this could be a pretty nice little sugar agate. Might just have that band playing tricks on me, but one way to find out is to take it back and cut it. It's got that little orange peel texture to it somewhat, so it could be good. Somebody was excited about something, came down here and broke it. That certainly didn't break itself. Uh, I thought for funsies, we could walk the beach all the way back, which may not make for the best video since I'm gonna be shooting into the sun. But I know for a fact two people have already walked this and I'd like to attempt to prove a point that even though a spot has been searched possibly multiple times, you can still find good material. You know, if somebody doesn't have the eye for it, they're not going to see it and walk right past it. The Columbia River here, well, the whole Columbia River is wildly dammed up and uh, it doesn't change that much. It's not like uh, the Great Lakes or the ocean. It's mostly, uh, mostly stays exactly like this. Elevation goes up and down, but for the most part, it is what it is. Let's see if we can find any agates out here on the beach. There we go. That one's got some nice bit little banding I can see in there. That guy all cleaned up. Just goes to show that took me, well, let's see. That tree over here, that's like 20 feet. 20 feet, I found my first good little one to pick up. I don't know about this one.
little pieces of quartz in it. I think uh, because of the how little it is, it's going to make its way into the bag. There's also just some rocks down here that kind of seem a little aggity to catch your eye. They might have some banding in them, some lines, some different stuff going on. They're really pretty. They take a tumble nice, but not an agate, not carnelian. Not what we're looking for. That's a good one right there. I think I'm calling it a day. Got some good stuff that we can go over back at the shop. I'm gonna go meet some people in town and grab a drink. That was a fun little outing. Let's look at some of the top finds. I'm not going to bore you with all of them, because you saw them when we were out there. Got this nice little agate. This one was pretty good. I was stoked to find that. You can see the banding in there. Very cool. Very cool. Next up, i got to wet this one. So, you know, one of the, the first things that I found when I went out there was that large agate. And as you can see, I already cut it. This is definitely a nice piece. I mean, it's it's a glower. Um, I have more of these, so it's nothing too special. But I opted to cut it, and it has some nice plumy little features in there. Hopefully, it'll pop up in the photos. But uh, you know, it's wet because there's saw marks. Tile saws don't leave very good finishes on rocks. So very stoked about that one. That was kind of a cool, cool find. Um, one I did find one of my favorite rocks, which is a sugar agate. Now, when I saw it, that's what was poking up. I just saw that little band right there along the top. And, uh, you know, I'm sure some people would <laughs> probably pass on this. You know, it does kind of look like uh, just a piece of piece of quartz. But these are actually one of my favorite rocks. Here's the whole thing. Um, you know, doesn't exactly look like much. But it does have beautiful banding on the inside. They tumble up really nice. This whole piece and, well, this little end cut is probably going to make its way into the tumbler. I put a light polish on it. Just took it up to 3,000 grit. And um, it'll, you know, go, go into the tumbler later. But uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites, you know. Um, I think they are really, really pretty, and they're definitely tricky to try to separate out from the other actual just yellow-ish quartz that you see out there, um, but well worth it. So uh, thanks for coming along on this tr this little journey. You know, it was fun to get out. It was an unseasonably warm day. I do have some kind of slightly off-topic videos planned. A number of people have inquired about what I'm carrying. They see me carrying my backpack. Well, there's some very specific gear in there. I have some systems, you know. Uh, there's what I have on my person, what I have in my pack, and what I have in my vehicle. Because we do go to some rather remote places. I mean, not exactly for a road like you saw in this video, but we do go places where there's no cell phone service. Nobody goes there. There's nothing. Just you and what you bring. So we're going to kind of uh, go over some of those topics, look at some gear. Maybe you'll get some ideas. That'll be in an upcoming video. Um, as always, I appreciate the views. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you're subscribed, if you're not, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I hope you had a good New Year's.